how hot is fire? Over a thousand degrees. <laughs> my young minds. I'm Robbie and you're watching America's number one educational, educational program. program. Today we're going to be learning how to steer clear from sex and to stay in school. Educate! Do you have any advice for those of there out there who aren't like you to do well in math and steer clear from sex? Um, well mainly guidance from parents and teachers. I guess listen to what they say. Fist? Too slow for me. <laughs> Statistics show that one out of every three people has done fisting in a classroom. I have never done fisting, have you? Indeed I haven't, no. No, and uh, I don't think we'd be uh, answering questions about that kind of thing. Well, there's only three of us, so one of you is lying. <laughs> no. Say no to sex and stay in school. Sex is corny. Algebra makes me horny. Sex is corny. Algebra makes me horny. Call me a perv, but you have really beautiful eyes. Thank you. Yeah. Where do you live? Uh, in Concord. No, I mean like your address? I don't want to disclose that. I want to try some role playing. I'm going to be a high school boy and you be a high school girl and we both have a lot of homework to do. So Sally, what do you want to do tonight? Well, I got to finish this, uh, this chapter. Oh, I'm so horny for sex for my penis. No, homework first. The math teacher is going to give us a test tomorrow and I want to be ready for that. I want to eat out your and butthole and lick. Actually, you could actually do that after you do your homework. Okay, there we go. Balls neither supply oxygen nor food. Therefore, it is pointless to put them in your mouth. I was not getting the answers I was looking for. So, I decided to seek out some spiritual help. Sorry. Pastor, how long have you been pastoring for? I've been here for 20 some odd years. Last night, mm -hmm. I was confronted by what I believe to be a gremlin. The gremlin tried to convince me that atheism is the new religion of the world. What should I do in the case of another gremlin visit? Well, I think you should be listening to something in your heart. Uh, it's perhaps telling you something that's going on in a subconscious way. I can see a gremlin right now. He's laughing at me and pointing. He says that the man you're talking to is not very good. He said that the man you're talking to is bad. Is this true? Probably what's coming out of some of the insecurities in the process of doing some of this stuff here. Lord Jesus Christ, we ask that you'd come and be present with Rob, that you would look deep within his heart and soul and help him, Lord, as he uh, deals with the various gremlins in his life, that uh, you might provide for some solace and some direction and uh, hope in his life here. A gremlin said that's not going to work. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> Back on course, now it's time to learn other fun activities besides having sex. So I'm here with Garrett King. Uh, Garrett, what do you do for a living? I'm a uh, high school tennis coach. I'm a high school tennis coach. As a child, I was molested by a tennis coach. Sorry to hear that. So we're here to teach kids how tennis can be more effective than sexual intercourse, right? Uh, no, uh, just tennis, tennis. I'll work on forehand, we'll work on forehands, backhands, and, and volleying. Awesome. That's not bad. Here, that's why I've got two. Do you say anything special when you hit it, like kaza or plus one? Uh, a few of my players will grunt. Go ahead. Uh. Get it up. And you're gonna well, go. easy. I, okay. And. Just a little space, please. Okay, sorry. sorry. Yeah, I don't want to repeat the situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. King. Now I know how to play tennis really well now, yeah? Well, it's tennis is a progression. I you could probably to... kick your ass now, yeah? It's, it's a progression. You know, the, the benefits of tennis, you, we were talking earlier, it's, it's wonderful for the students to come out. Okay, I'm sorry to interrupt. Can we cut, please? I need to uh, do number two. It's liquid emergency. Can we, please, is that okay if we come back to this? That's perfectly okay, sure. Do you think you can help me off the wheelchair onto the toilet bowl, maybe? 
I'm I'm not comfortable with with okay. with that rock. Okay. All right. Uh, wait right here. We'll be right back. Hold on. Can you hang out for just a second? Yeah. This is this is not professional. This oh, is sorry. not I'm what sorry. I signed up for. Uh -huh. This is not okay on my courts. You guys need to either change or we're done. Okay, I, I, we're sorry. We're really sorry about that. It's coming out. I'd say today was both informative and educational. Be sure to tune in next time for even more. Rolling with Robbie.